Now, I never know where to put these things, and for the last at least two or three years, I keep stumbling upon this bag of mirrors. So, in order to get these things done and out of my way once and for all, the thing to do with them is, of course, to make some sort of a project with it. So today, we're going to make a hall mirror that's going to have these nine little mirrors in it. So, let's look at what a layout will look like for this. There's what it looks like with half inch uh, dividers between all of the mirrors. Now you also need to remember that there's going to need to be something to hold these mirrors in so if I were to put this three-quarter inch piece on top of it you can see how it kind of cleans up those edges. The boards I just cut on the table saw, I'm going to cut to a rough length right now because that way I can get away with less jointing and we'll have a little bit thicker wood to work with. And now it's back to the jointer to make one flat face and one square edge. I'm back at the table saw because I haven't cut these boards to width, so that's what we're going to do right now. Well, it might look like I'm making some progress here, but I really haven't done too much other than make the outside frames. Now, I did cut some strips for sizing for the middle, but what I want to talk to you about is when you're making a frame like this with mirror in it, it's very different than making windows, and here's why it's different. When you look at a, a mirror, you always see things sort of on a single plane whereas when you're looking through a window you actually are looking through it and what the difference between that is is when you're looking at a frame like this if you don't mount all of the frames all of the mirrors on a single plane and that's what I'm going to do and I've actually drawn this out I'll show you a, a close-up of it if you don't mount all of the mirrors on a single plane what happens is they can tend to get at different angles so that when you look in it or when you walk by it it seems disjointed and that's because things are on a different plane so what I need to do now and I've already marked this out what I need to do now is to place all of these on this sheet of plywood and I'm going to glue them onto that uh, and then we'll make the, the frames to go on top of that now if you look closely you'll be able to see lines now there's a few things that you could use to glue the mirror down you could use contact cement I want to make sure that they're nice and flat and I decided I'm going to be using this construction adhesive I don't use this stuff very often um, but when I do I really like it because it really holds well so Now I need to cut a rabbit in the bottom of the frames, but I don't know how deep it is. And with my square on the, the wood and the mirror, if I can find a bit that fits underneath it, it will give me an automatic, that will tell me exactly the size that I need. There's one right there. 
Okay, now I just need to use that drill bit and I can measure, use that to measure the depth of the rabbit I need to cut in that. The next thing I need to do is install the rabbiting bit. I really like this Dowlmax uh, lift by the same people that make the doweling jig. Uh, it's quick and easy, quick and easy to unplug the router. You always want to unplug a router when you're changing bits. Um, quick and easy to get access to the bits. And what I, I think the thing I like the best about this is when you're sighting the height of the bit, you actually get to look right down the angle here without having to get down on your hands and knees and do it that way. So, great little system. Okay. We'll do the cross members first of all because they're just a straight run through. Now the styles, I'm going to need to go into the router and then pull out at the end. And I just want to mark roughly the end of the where the cross member is going to come. And that way it will give me an idea where I can push in and pull out. And I can do that sort of anywhere up to here. I just put the rails in my vise, just a lot easier to do it this way. Well, we've moved along a little bit here, and I took the clamps off the frame. The next thing we need to do is to run some battens up and down here, and I'll show you in a second a close-up of that and how we're going to do that. I'm starting off with a nice piece of wood, and what I'm going to do, I've got the rabbiting bit set already in there, and it's all ready to go. I'm just going to run this through this side, turn it over and do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. And then we'll go to the table saw and we'll just trim off those pieces and we'll have it all ready to made and it's done safely. Okay, I'm going to do a finishing on here, and I'm using uh, one of my favorite products here, a product called Osmo. Well, we're moving right along with our mirror, and I've given three coats of Osmo to this now, and I just love the sheen that, um, I don't know if you can be able to see that sheen that uh, Osmo puts on there. Just a, a luster. I just love that. What I'm going to do now, the strips that I'd already cut, and you watched me cut those. That one's got a bit of a defect on the end. But now, all I'm going to do now is take these 
and just cut them and this is going to be a little bit tedious and and there it is and that's all there is to making your own picture frame now you saw when we started um, I started off with nine um, little mirrors that I bought at a, a garage sale or a swap meet or something for two dollars they were in a bag for two dollars uh, and you know look what we created a, a lovely hall mirror or entryway mirror uh, with a little bit of a uh, little bit of wood and a little bit of time and it's amazing what you can create of course there will be more details on the article on woodwork web don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe like us on facebook follow us on twitter all that good stuff blah 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 i'm colin Kinnett for woodwork web thanks for watching